2024 Miami International Boat Show. I'm here with my buddy Rob Sabin, Contender Boats, and walked into the show to quite a surprise. Surprise. You guys unveiled a new boat. What do we got going on here at Contender, Rob? We did. Yeah, we um, we had our unveiling uh, at slash press release of the 23 foot bay boat this morning. So it was a brand new boat that we launched here at the Miami Boat Show. And um, and this is the smallest version in the bay boat lineup now, right? Currently the smallest boat that we make at 23 feet. And yes, the smallest bay boat that we make. So it's the little brother to the 26 foot bay boat, which was launched at Fort Lauderdale about a year and a half ago. Okay. So, you know, I'm not a huge bay boat guy, but a beautiful boat. Um, so what was the inspiration to, uh, or motivation to offer a smaller version of the 26 bay boat? You know, there's a big market for bay boat, for smaller bay boats out mm -hmm. there, and and you know, you think in these in these days terms, a 23 foot boat is you know kind of run of the mill when you start talking about bay boats. Rewind the clock 10 years ago, and that's would have been on the on the larger side of the market. But there's certainly a market that needs to be served with a boat this size, and uh, we felt like we could pack contender performance and contender fishability into a boat this size and do it to our level of perfection, and that's exactly what you see here. Yeah. So I, I already told you this, but so. To, to kind of add to what you just said, like, I, you know, I feel like when you think about bay boats, a lot of people think about inshore saltwater. Um, I literally, once I saw this announcement, I texted one of my fraternity brothers, a close friend who's, you know, a bay boat owner for many years. And he actually, I mean, he does inshore and offshore stuff with it, but literally yesterday he was driving back. Uh, he has a 23 foot bay boat that he fishes Lake Okeechobee with it. Yep. Spec fishing and everything. So yep. it's a, a wide variety of ways that you can use these boats. Absolutely. So enough talk, let's hop in this thing and see what's, uh, see what's new. Let's go poke around. So here we are, we're gonna start I guess uh, in the stern cockpit area. And one of the things that, I, that j immediately came to mind, um, we've got a new sponsor partner, Network, Network Innovations. Um, however, Matt, who is a part of the company, he also runs a bay boat, uh, offshore bay boat tournament up out of Stewart called the One More Bite Challenge. Have you yeah, heard of that? Yeah, absolutely. These guys are actually going out in these bay boats and they're catching like double digit sailfish in the summertime. It's nice. Super cool. So awesome. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if he sees a few of these in that tournament in the future. Absolutely. It's a so perfect what's setup for that. What's happened in, the, in the, the back end of the boat here? So on the rear casting platform, uh, start in the way back, you've got a standard jack plate that comes on the boat. Uh, it's from Bob's Machine. Smaller jack plate, so it's lighter weight. Gives you a little bit more lift in the back. Coming onto the casting platform, you've got your uh, aft lazarette hatch access, so you've got oversized access to your bilge area. Okay. You've got storage port and starboard, and you've got a 35-gallon live well right here in the middle. That's nice. You have access all the way down. It's really nice to have access all the way around because if you know working on a boat this size, it can get real tight. Oh, real of course. Fast, so, looks like uh, we've got uh, the inside of the well. Uh, Custom painted, a little light blue there. Yeah, that's one of the cool things about Contender. One of our, our favorite parts is the custom ability. Uh, when you go down the build sheet, you'll see you can do everything from choosing the color of your live well to your cap, your liner, whole sides, whole bottom. That's uh, that's part of the Contender DNA that we're really proud of. Let's Super. you build it to your own specs. Right, a lot of flexibility. Yep. And then um, on the transom of the boat, uh, we've got a Yamaha 300. We is do. that standard as far as the, the power configuration? Or? I would call that our standard. Okay. Um, you know, Yamaha just released that new 350 on the same v V6 block, mm -hmm. and that'll be the max horsepower rating for us. Um, so I, th I think that's gonna be a really sweet package. Not a ton of added weight on the back, okay. but uh, it's, it certainly will uh, increase your, your overall horsepower and speed. Have, have they had a chance to actually run this pre-show and, and see what kind of performance they're getting out of the 300 with they did. top it, end and, and stuff? It is very impressive. Wow. Uh, with some prop adjustments, you're gonna be well into the mid 70s. Wow. So propped as is, which was our first shot at it uh, earlier this week or, or late last week, I should say, uh, they were right at 70 miles an hour. Tommy Gunn Rogers, is that fast enough for you? That's my buddy with the bay boat, so <laughs> I think that that would check that box. All right, what do we got going on here uh, up around the center console? Yep, standard leaning post here. You've got four rod holders across the back. Uh, you've got storage in the seat, so that's nice to have. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, you know, particularly as you get into the smaller boats, like, right, you know, thinking about any way that you can maximize storage 
Absolutely. becomes key, you know, um, space is a premium. Absolutely. So. so speaking of storage, when you look at the dash here on the flat surface, you have the ability to add a glove box. There's also 12 volt power and USB in here so you can charge your phone or any other devices. Um, you got an easy access slam latch there. Um, with the configuration of the dash that has the glove box, um, you can do a 16 inch screen on okay. the dash, so okay. up to 16 inches. Um, this model right here is a 12, so you can see it still fits really plenty well. Of room. You've got plenty of screen to chop it up and do whatever you need to do. Sure. So, and if they want to go with a larger screen, what size can they go up to with this dash? On this dash footprint? here, the way it sits, you could go up to a 22 inch screen, or you can do twin 12 inch screens. Okay. Um, coming, up, coming down here, you've got the blinker style jack plate control on the uh, port side of the steering wheel. You've got four cup holders on the dash. You've got your trim tab controls, your CL5 for your Yamaha, and then you've got a rod rack over here on the port side. Nice. And you've also got another rod rack there. So on you the got, side, you got so. space for eight rods just on the console just alone, on which the is console nice. Alone. Four on the back, another four you know, right there. a dozen rods. Again, like I was talking about with these guys, even that are uh, dredge fishing mm -hmm. off Stewart <laughs> out of these things and or flying kites, you know, right here you got a dozen rods, you can still you can still get it done. A lot of big boat DNA in these small boats. Well, you know, I've always said like, um, <clears throat> there may be some more challenges and some more com and or comfort that can convenience that comes with these bigger center consoles, right? Certainly. But if you want to, you can still do the same things on these small boats. It's just a matter of whether or not, you know, you have the motivation to do it. That's exactly I right. I grew up fishing on a, started on a 19 foot Mako and we flew three kites off of it. Yep. So, um, Cool. Take me to the front of the boat and see what we got going on. Yep. So up in the bow, uh, standard equipment here. This is a 70 quart insulated cooler that doubles as a bench seat. It's also removable. Yep. So you've got twin access hatches here on the front side of the console. You can open up the big hatch oh, with okay. the cooler still there. If you need to get all the way in and have full access, you can pull the cooler off with two quick easy release handles there. And That's you can nice. have the second door swing open as well for full access. Yeah easy access to the back side of your electronics or anything maintenance wise that you need to do. Exactly. Your whole um, battery banks in there. So you, you know, you definitely want easy access. Do you have to some, do stuff. you have some storage down in there as well? If you want to utilize it, it depends on how much other stuff you want to cram in there. Right. Like we were talking about, right. you know, if you've got a trolling motor with, you know, three battery banks and, and sure. all kinds of stuff in there, you, you get kind of pinched there. Okay. There's other places that you can shuffle them around, but it's always a, a give and take, but yes, absolutely. I mean, if you wanted, you know, Speaking specifically to the sailfish guys, if sure. you wanted to store some kites in there, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure you could fit a, a, a couple kites in there if you okay. wanted to. Okay, cool. So um, here's your fish box, your forward fish box. Okay. That's a 70 gallon fish box. So that's a know, great size. Plenty of room in there for yeah. uh, for any kind of meat fish you want to dump in there. No doubt. Over on the west coast of Florida, they throw a couple fat cobias in that thing. That's right. Some big old groupers. I've been, I've been seeing they've been they've been hammering them pretty good. Oh yeah. So you've got port and starboard storage hatches slash rod lockers here so you see the uh the rod tubes going up there with the rack on either side sure so rod storage or miscellaneous i like odds that uh i like that step up feature that you guys have integrated the step up is really nice it kind of gives you a, a little bit more of an elevated platform up here mm -hmm. with the uh, increased size in the uh, casting platform up front okay. plenty of room to move around pitch baits do whatever you need to do sure uh, you've got more storage here this is a 75 gallon sto dry storage hatch so plenty of room. And then up front here, you've got your anchor locker with molded in anchor storage. Very, very cool. Now, is it is it common? Do you get any requests with like this type of boat or this size range for like a customer to want to have more than one bait well or typically one bait well is pretty sufficient for them? You know, I. I don't know the answer to that question yet, Jamie, on the 23, but I will say on the 26, you definitely get guys who request pitch bait wells in the bow so they're not having to walk back and forth. Right. And that, that's a custom option that we're happy that to you guys could offer. Certainly. Yep. Yep. Well, that's the nice thing about being basically a, a semi custom builder is obviously, hey, anything can be done, right? It's just a matter of whether or not you want to pay to have it done. And we always say, we, we don't like to say no. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, this boat, uh, so the 23, is is it in full production now? It has started full production. You're standing on hole number one. Okay. Hole number two is down at Miami Beach Marina for sea trials this week. Hole number three will wrap up production in the next couple weeks and uh, we'll keep them rolling from there. Okay, and so anybody that's interested obviously or in the market for, for a bay boat currently, 
their best option is in, ter in terms of getting information about this boat is what? How, how we've, got, we've got a landing page on our website right now that'll okay. give you all the important information and then you can go to our dealer locator and submit a request to speak to your local dealer. There you have it. The all new 23 foot bay boat from Contender Boats right here at the Miami Boat Show. Uh, shows open through Sunday, so come by and check it out. It's, uh, it packs a punch in a small footprint, and I would expect nothing else from a builder like Contender. Rob, thanks for having us. Jamie, thanks for coming by, man. Really See appreciate it. See you for the next Fish Blue Water video.